Today I'm making chocolate chunk brownies that are infused with stout beer. And yes, you heard that right. Like most brownie recipes, this one is pretty simple, but I'm building in a lot of deep complex flavor with the addition of stout beer and sorghum. So the first step is just to sift together the flour, the cocoa, and the salt. Now I'm just going to cream together a cup of butter and my brown sugar. So essentially, I am just mixing these delicious ingredients together until it's light and fluffy, and then I'm gonna add in my eggs one at a time. Now I'm adding in just a teaspoon of vanilla and some sorghum, and you can also use molasses if you want to, but sorghum is super old fashioned, and it's made just by juicing the sorghum plant and then cooking down that juice until it's this dark, wonderful syrup. You can see that beautiful texture. And now I'm adding in the beer. And if you've never baked with beer before, it really adds a little bit of a malty flavor, especially working with a stout. There are all different kinds of stout that you can play with. This one happens to be a milk chocolate stout made by a craft brewery in St. Louis. Now my dry ingredients. I'm just adding this in a little bit at a time, whisking as I go. Smells amazing. So now I'm just gonna pour it into the prepared pan, just butter and flour so nothing sticks. I'm gonna do half of the batter, and then I'm gonna pour in walnuts and chocolate chunks, and then put the rest of the batter in. You can see how thick this is. I'll give the people what they want. They want chocolate. Definitely one step above your average brownies. This is going into a 350 degree oven for roughly 45 minutes, but I'm gonna check it at about 35 minutes just to make sure that I'm not overcooking it. Here they are, hot out of the oven, and it smells like absolute heaven in this kitchen right now. These brownies are so huge that I'm going to be digging into them with a fork. So if you're looking for this or other recipes that will get you in the spirit, just check out this site. Thank you so much for joining me, and I will see you next time.